In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush that can create this clumpy yellow flower effect. This is a request by one of my patrons, Thomas G. So I'm going to go ahead and create this brush here in Corel Painter 2017. I've gone ahead and added a layout grid with 16 individual cells here, and I've created 16 layers for each of those cells. And I'm going to go ahead and paint using the colors from within the image, which are yellows and greens. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the reference image and I'm trying to get an idea of all of the different shapes that are there. There are some little flowers that are blooming. There are some little flowers that are like halfway between blooming and their little pod phase. And then there's some that are kind of in their little pods, which I'm drawing here in this third cell. And so I want a nice variety that shows a little bit of transition between all the different shapes. I want to go ahead and do enough similarity but enough uniqueness that it doesn't all look like the same stamp but I also want to make sure that everything remains consistent. So I'm going through here and painting single flowers, clumps of flowers, pods, and so on. And so I'm getting this nice effect here by sampling all of the colors that I put down already using the color sampler or alt. It makes it really easy to keep the colors consistent. And then here and there I might decide to transform some of these flowers because I noticed that Overall, I want them to be kind of smaller, and a few of them I've done kind of large. So I'll just go ahead and eventually free transform those, like you can see here, to make a few of them smaller. I'm going to go ahead and save my progress, and I'll also go ahead and go to Make Nozzle. I'll make this into an image shows nozzle and save it as a riff. I'm just going to call this Yellow Flowers. And then I'll go ahead and create a test canvas. And I'll go ahead and fill that with a green background color on the canvas layer. Then I'll create a new layer to go ahead and paint on top of. And then I'll go ahead and load the nozzle, which is the yellow flowers nozzle. And the brush that'll work best for this is the image shows brush called Linear Size P Angle D. And if we paint with this brush, I can tap or I can draw strokes. I can change the size of the flowers with my pen pressure. And I can change the direction of the flowers with the direction of my brush. So I'm painting straight down now with these strokes. And I'm getting this nice clumpy effect. Now you might also want to add some stems and leaves on a separate layer. I'm going to do that on the canvas layer. And I'm going to select the plant brush. That's a particle brush. I'll select a green color. This particular brush uses both the main and additional color, so I'll need to add a second green here that's a little bit darker. That'll give us some nice variability in the color. I'll draw on some stems and some leaves, and that'll help this look a little more natural. You probably could have drawn the stems in first, it's up to you, but since I was creating the brush, then it made more sense to do it that way. But whatever works for you. So I'm gonna put in some leaves here, and this is starting to look like a pretty good painting. I think I'm happy with the brush and I don't need to make any more changes to it. So I'll go ahead and add a little more detail to this to finish it up, and we'll call this a finished brush. If you're interested in downloading this brush, you can get it as part of my workspace along with a bunch of other brushes. That's available on my website at aaronrutten.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.